From the heart of Wayne County, this is Wayne Goldsboro Television, Goldsboro, North Carolina. Wednesday, it is the 11th of May, May 11th, 2016, and this is Wayne Goldsboro Television. I'm Wayne Alley. And I'm Kate Daniels. And I hope your day is going well so far. Well, what weather we have had. Well, well, well yes, sir. Well, yeah. yeah. Well, in the 80s, sunshine, mm -hmm. nice and all that. Now, we may get a little rain tomorrow afternoon. Eh, we'll see. But uh, we've enjoyed these three days. Sure have. For sure. For sure. For sure. Hot. Well, no, I'm going to say that. I'm going to say that. Yeah, it was good. It was good. Right. Give us a little bit long. In a few more weeks, we'll be going high outside. Well, yeah, it will be. <laughs> it will be. In fact, summer's not. Summer gets here June 21. Okay, 21st of June will be the longest daylight day of the year. More, there's more daylight that day than any other day. Any other day of the year. That's right. Now, we talked about that yesterday. Voter mm -hmm. ID this November as you vote, and I do hope you do. This November, as you vote, you'll need a picture ID with you. We'll tell you more about that later on, about what you can use. You can use not only your driver's license, but there's other things. Uh, downtown fun, look at this. What's, can look you read that? I, I can, I can. Okay. You know, and I'll say it was hard for Wayne to read because there's so much on here. There's a lot on which there. Which is awesome. It is awesome. A um, lot of great things going on downtown. What is, what's the date today? Today's the 11th. The 11th. Mm -hmm. So coming up next week on the 19th, the Embers are going to be Woo! in downtown Goldsboro. Rock playing. and roll. So um, Center Street Jams is well underway. Unfortunately, last week with the weather, mm. they've had to postpone the Malpas Brothers, the very talented Malpas Brothers. You know, so, we had Chris in here, too, that same know, day. And we were wondering, but we didn't talk about it on TV. But Well, well because <coughs> it was kind of in the 11th hour that it was like, you know, what's the best call? And um, that's always a tough call for the DGDC in the city to make mm -hmm. because yeah. with it being in eastern North Carolina, we all know how this works. Sometimes it'll say we're going to have clear skies and then the bottom falls out. Last week it was one of those situations where mm -hmm. the radar just did not look promising. Right. And, but it's been um, rescheduled. Rescheduled yeah. for in, in August and you'll hear more about that and you can go on to the DGDC and City of Goldsboro Facebook page and web page for more information. Um, Beak Week is coming up, and it's not until September, but I want to go ahead and get that on y'all's radar. Beak Week is, this will be the third annual Beak Week celebration, a poultry festival, so to speak. Right. And uh, the first year, there was a good turnout. The second year, there was a bigger turnout. This year, we're expecting a, a record, yes. record year. So, lots of great events going on downtown. This little card is provided by the DGDC, and you can find more online, and if you want one mailed to you, you can reach out to DGDC and they'll put one in the mail for you. You know, getting married is very popular. Where, what kind of transition was that? Just oh. throw it out there. You, see, <laughs> you know, getting married is very popular and, and people like to see wedding dresses and wedding apparel and all yeah. kinds of, you know, and cake and, and things, you know, like. Yeah. What kind of like cans nails. are best to put on the back of the cars? Are the bride and the groom are driving away? Do they still do that? Yeah, I, well, I don't know. Do you know what I've seen a lot of lately? Horse, 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 horses <laughs> and carriages. Horses? Horse drawn carriages. Oh. I've seen that at several weddings really? that I've been to. It's beautiful. They don't go fast enough it's for the cans beautiful. to make a lot of noise, though. We had cans attached to Did the back really? of my, um, my <laughs> old Toyota Avalon that I was <laughs> driving. Really? Yes. All and right. lots of, um, you know, stuff and birdseed. Oh, birdseed, yeah, yeah. On top of the stuff. Yeah. Well, yeah, I tried birdseed. In fact, I, I had I, I planted some birdseed once. What? No birds came up at all. I don't know what happened. I must have not they planted put? it. Right. They had like some kind of like. Shaving cream. Was it, was it shaving cream? It can cream be shaving birds? cream, yeah. You, for like a year and a half, like every <laughs> once in a while. I'd it was awful. It was oh. awful. Oh. It was awful. It might have been paint. It there could would have be been bird seed everywhere. 
Okay. But yes, well, there were some um, cans behind our car. Yep. They were. They used to use shoes too, old shoes. Shoes, yeah. my shoes. Way back, I don't know. It, it had symbolic something. I don't know. Really smelly too. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the point is, here's the point, here's what we're getting at here. There's a display at the Wayne County Museum. It's all about wedding and fashion, and fashion of weddings, that sort of thing. And it's going on right now through June, <laughs> through the month of June. And you are invited to go take a look at it. If you're a, if you're a fan of antiques, if you're a fan mm -hmm. of uh, interesting things like uh, wedding apparel and that sort of thing, then uh, they've got everything over at the Wayne County Museum, 116 North William Street in Goldsboro. And you need to go by and take a look at this. Plus, they've got a brand new exhibit of uh, of uh, firepower uh, weapons used from the Civil War at the Aversboro uh, battlefield uh, have right. been donated to the Wayne County Museum. And it is an enormous collection of weaponry. So you need to go weaponry. Yes. Now, does it have the times of the, it does not, of the museum? Museum is open from 11 until 4, Thank Tuesday you. through Saturday. Thank Tues you. You're welcome, Tuesday through Saturday, 11 to 4. So, you know, on the weekends, you want to talk about a fun place to go yeah. and um, and take a tour and see what's new on exhibit, see their gift store. But what a what a fine exhibit mm. that they brought with this, you know, weddings from the 1800s yeah. to the 2000s. Yeah, 1800s weddings. Yeah. yeah. Wow, that goes back a ways. Anyway, that's there, 116 North William Street. We're going to go to our break. When we come back, we'll have a look at birthdays. We'll have a look at trivia questions and stuff. Stuff. We'll be back. Our guest today from Seymour Johnson Air Force Base, Senior Airman Jakari Desern. And how are you, sir? I'm good, sir. How about yourself? I'm doing great. Glad you're here. Yes, sir. Glad let's to find, be here. Let's find out about Senior Airman Desern. Now, where are you from? I'm Warner Robins, Georgia, originally. Warner Robins, right in the middle of the state. Yep, right uh, smack in Georgia. So what in the world inspired you to join the Air Force? Uh, family. Family? You yeah. have family in the Air yeah. Force? Uh, no, sir. In family. military? Yeah, just my family in general. My okay. wife and my daughter. Oh, uh, okay. They're the fuel that pretty much... Uh, Fires me up, gets oh. me up in the morning. Every well, day. there you go. Yes, sir. That's great. How many? Uh, do you have kids? Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah, you, just my daughter. Just your daughter. Okay. Yes, yes sir. Right. Cry deserves six yeah. years old. Six. Yes, sir. Okay, that's great. One on the way too. Well, congratulations. <laughs> yes, that's when is it? When is it due? May nineteenth. May nineteenth. Yes, sir. Right. I'll let my wife tell it. It's any day now. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yes, sir. Well, we're not going to hold you here very long. Okay. Is that all right? <laughs> no problem. So, sir. what do you do at Seymour Johnson? I'm a maintenance management analysis. All that's right. uh, basically. The aircraft do what are called, uh, they're basically practice sorties mm. or practice flights, they're sure. called sorties. Sure. We keep up with those and uh, those sorties and hours and just the various components of the jet that are flowing up or whatever. And then also the problematic areas that could potentially come up and arise. I live near the end of this of the base of the uh, runway, and uh, you guys are flying sorties quite often now. Aren't you? <laughs> yes, sir. I know you hear them. Oh, I hear them, but I don't mind it. Yes, sir. Uh, you know, I don't know people that mind it because mm -hmm. gee we're talking about Seymour Johnson Air Force Base here yes, sir. and it's we love you guys and it's for the greater good indeed it is we love you guys and uh, so flying sorties now tell us uh, for those who may be new to the area or who just don't know what a sortie is tell us about what the routine tell us about a sortie what is okay, that so basically you got your pilot obviously you got yeah. your front and your back pilot for the F-15E which we, which right. we have uh, here at Seymour We've got about a bunch of those mm. but grab your got your pilot you have your various different agencies and sections that go into a sortie going up in the air you have your back shops your avionics which are basically your electricians then you have your crew chiefs which are the guys the men and women that are turning those riches on that jet every day, uh, fixing those problematic systems mm -hmm. that I was telling you about earlier. Yeah. So basically, basically, get your pilot up in the air aircraft, get those wrenches turning, and sort of goes up in the air and you come back down. So it's not just somebody running out to the aircraft, jumping in and taking and off. And pushing a button. Nah, then pushing a button. Okay, yeah. let's go. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot that goes a lot to it. Yeah, there's yeah. a lot that goes into just one sort of going up in the air. And while all this is going on, where are you? Oh, I'm sitting in the back of the desk, plugging in the numbers and making sure everything is kosher in the data system that everybody puts their, their issues into. So all of that information comes to you. Mm -hmm. My goodness. Yeah. That's pretty important. Yeah. Yeah. That's very important. Got to have a, a, a big brain to work the system. So. 
Well, I can, yeah, I, I can see <laughs> that. <laughs> Not to be braggadocious. Well, yeah, it's okay. Be braggadocious. It's <laughs> yes, okay. Sir. Okay, so how long have you been in the Air Force? Uh, a little over five years. Really? Okay. Mm -hmm. And you joined where? Uh, Warner Robins. At Warner Georgia. Robins, yes, where sir. there's also a big base there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, what flies out of Warner Robins? I'm just curious. Uh, I think we have A-10s. It's it's what's called a, um, a depot base, okay. which is basically they don't have aircraft assigned to them themselves. Oh, I see. But they have uh, various components on other jets from different bases okay. that can't be fixed at those bases. So they all go to that base, so, which, Warner is, Robins. which is a depot base, you, Robins, to get fixed on. Yeah, you mentioned the A-10. It's, it's one of everyone's favorites, I oh, think. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. But we love the F-15A, okay? <laughs> we, uh, with the, the, the strike yes, eagle. Right here that's quite C a plan. Right here at Seymour Johnson, we love yeah, that. That's our yeah. pride and joy. You know, there's a lot of uh, uh, talk going around about uh, new air aircraft coming in. Mm -hmm. uh, do you know anything about that? Uh, not too much. Just a new tanker, ex perhaps? Ex ex expect a lot of cool stuff. Oh, yeah. yeah a lot oh, of cool yeah. stuff. It gets only better, doesn't it? Yeah, exactly. It exactly. Does. With the advances that we have in technology, just from down to simple things as, such as a cell phone or computers and things of that nature, yeah. expect a lot of that to transfer over to those aircraft. Oh, yeah. If you think those cell phones are cool, then those aircraft that they're about to push out are going to be even cooler. That's right. There you go, man. So what do you like to do when you're not air forcing? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> let, let my friends tell them, let my wife tell them, I, I, I really enjoy the uh, gym. I like working out a lot. You like working out? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I could tell. Yeah, I, I could tell. <laughs> thank you, thank you. You do, you do <laughs> like to work out. So do you yeah. work out on base? Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah, big workout guy, and I love basketball, too. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I'm, I'm glued for the playoff season right now. Oh, okay, there yeah, you go. Definitely. So your team is? My, the Los Angeles Lakers. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. Sorry to see Kobe leave this year. Yeah, I know. But, yeah. Yeah, well. And we're sending out for these playoffs, but we'll be back there eventually. All right. So uh, any advice you would care to give to any of the young people out there who have no direction right now, who need direction, would you consider advising them to go into the Air Force I or would. any branch, branch of military? I would, but um, I wouldn't necessarily just push the Air Force on anyone. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, it, it's worked out awesome Work for me. For you. I, I love it. Yeah. But um, just do your... Uh, Different, different strokes for different folks. It's sure. an old adage, but it's, it's very, very true. Yeah. Make sure you do your research. Understand what will work for you in your situation. Yeah. Just because it worked for me doesn't mean it'll work for you. But if somebody is uh, seriously considering going to the Air Force, I have no problem with advising them on it. It's, right. it's not a bad life to live. Oh, no, it's a good life. And regardless of the branch of military service you consider, uh, they all have big advantages. Yes, sir. Uh, exactly. uh, you can benefit greatly from, from well, from Air, Air Force particularly. Yeah, you can benefit a, greatly. There's a lot of educational benefits. Exactly. There's a lot of travel. Oh, yeah. See go. the world. Just, yeah, exactly. Me, myself, I've been to Germany, Kuwait, and I actually did a, a deployment in Africa. Did you so, really? Yeah, Where awesome. in Africa? Uh, Djibouti, Africa. Djibouti? Yep, on the oh. naval base. It was awesome. Yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, yeah. How long were you there? Uh, about seven months. Okay. Very eye-opening experience. I'm sure it was. Yeah. I'm sure it was. That's the eastern part of Africa. Yes, sir. There's, yep. There's 53 countries in Africa. Africa's <laughs> an entire continent with a, a large number of countries there. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and each uh, one more beautiful than the next. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Uh, Jakari, I appreciate you coming in and talking to us. Yeah, it was a wonderful right. experience. Well, thank, thank you very much, sir, and best of luck to you, and thank you. good luck to you and, and in the future with your newborn. Oh, yes, All sir. Right. Thank Thanks you. Thanks a lot. You. All right. Senior Airman Jakari Desern with us today from Seymour Johnson Air Force Base. We are back on Wayne Goldsboro Television. This is Wednesday, the 11th of the month of May. <laughs> Had to think for a minute there, right? It's going by so quickly. It's going Can't by keep so up. Fast. Can't keep up. Uh, I believe it's April 12th and May 20th are the two dates on the North Carolina state flag. Oh, good job. Yeah, I think May 20th and April 12th. April 12th was the date of the Halifax Resolves. You're right. And the second, I think May 20th, was the Mecklenburg. Uh, it was our constitution. It was our declaration. It was our declaration. You know, we, we the state of North Carolina declared a declaration of independence before the U.S. did. Well, of course, there wasn't a the U.S. then. <laughs> before the rest of the country did. Well, we weren't a country either. Before the rest of the colonies did. Put it that way. We declared a declaration of independence through the Mecklenburg uh, uh, document. May 20th. May 1776, 20th. yeah. I believe that's work. right. I, I believe I think you're right. <clears throat> May 20th. Anyway, right. check that out. <clears throat> Halifax Resolves did about the same thing a month earlier. 
Okay, here's today's trivia question. The category is St. Valentine's Day. Okay. Which is usually in February. Yeah. And I think this year it was on the 14th. I think so. Okay. Okay, here's the question. What winged Roman god is commonly associated with Valentine's Day? You got that? Mm -hmm. Okay, she's got it. And I would hope most people do, but it's a, he is a, did I say he? He did. <laughs> okay. This, this um, is a winged Roman god, commonly associated with Valentine's Day, the name of this winged Roman god. That's the trivia question, okay? Okay. A couple of birthdays for you very quickly. Uh, Frances Fisher is an actress, a very talented, she's 64 today. Tim Blake Nelson, actor, 52, and Jeffrey Donovan also act. He is 48 today. There you go. Happy, happy. Happy, happy. Happy, happy, happy everybody. Happy. All right. Happy, happy. happy. Last happy. week was uh, the Women's Day build for Habitat for Humanity. Yes. I know um, the executive director, Matthew Whittle, has been in leading up to it, talking about it. Yep. Um, and I was super pleased to be able to be a part of the Wednesday, was it Wednesday build? Thursday build. Um, they did it Thursday, Friday, Saturday. They had a goal to bring in 50, at least 50 women. I know they met their goal. We'll have to hear from Matthew um, yeah. how many uh, uh, actually came in. But you want to talk about a great experience. I'm not, I'm not going to tell a story. I'll be very serious right now. I pulled up to the job site of this home that's being built for Habitat for Let Humanity. Let me get comfortable here. <clears throat> and... Um, I was well, nervous. Were you really? I was nervous. I was nervous. It was quite the feeling that I was putting on myself was quite intimidating because had the walls been up and the roof, I would have gone in and painted and mm -hmm. felt very comfortable. That's what I've done in my home, you know. Right. But but what to was there? see there was the the <coughs> foundation was there. That's it. And the, the they made the announcement, you know, you ladies are gonna help with the floor floor joists and I'm like, Who's Joyce? <laughs> <laughs> Where's she? So it was quite intimidating. And I'll why tell is she on the you, floor? Why is she on the floor? <laughs> floor Joyce. It was absolutely one of the greatest experiences. It's one of those things where people say, once you do it, you'll be glad you did it. It's mm -hmm. kind of like going to the gym. Like, mm -hmm. you know, oh, you know, I don't know. I'm intimidated. I don't want to go. And, and I was able to be there from 8 till 12 before I had to go back to my office. <laughs> And, um, and it was wonderful. It was a great experience. I learned a lot of stuff. It was really neat to be with the family um, who, will, who will have that home. I mean, these, these families are putting in sweat equity mm -hmm. in this. They're putting in sweat equity. And to be surrounded by women and men um, who are dedicating their time. I was dedicating my time. I don't have any talents. There were <laughs> other people there that, that truly have incredible talents. It was just, I don't know, it was pretty amazing. It's and fun, I will though. definitely be doing it again and I would encourage you if you're able to get out there and, and get your hands dirty to do it if you're not but you believe in what they're doing that they'll they'll accept donations um, it was just it was good and Matt Whittle's doing incredible yes, incredible things with that organization and it was on top of it it was pouring down rain for part of it and guess who didn't complain who none of us really yeah oh, it's just water that's right. You know, like, we got this. So it was good. It was good. Well, that's right. I'm, I'm really excited about that. That That's wonderful. Yeah. And, you know, for Habitat for Humanity, anyone, anyone can volunteer to help build a home. That's right. Anyone can. That's right. All right. And we'll talk more about that a little later on because we have to get back to our interviews here. And we'll be back. We're at the East Carolina Farm Vintage Club. Is that about right? Yeah, that's close. Okay, that's well, as long as I'm close, huh? <laughs> that and horseshoes. That's yeah. all right. That's all that matters. <laughs> that's right. And we're talking Mr. George Smith out of Kinston. George, uh, tell me about this uh, this event we're at today. What's going on here? Uh, well, we just have this is our annual trot to show that we have every year, and we support uh, young high school students for scholarships okay. and the FFA and things like that and All right. that's, that's what it's for and we support that. That's wonderful. Now the organization is based where? How much area do you cover? Well we got members from uh, 
Newport. We got members from Jacksonville. It's all big, just a big area. So it is truly East yeah, Carolina. East Carolina. Right, you cover a big area. Now, right. we see some really beautiful machines out here today. I mean, there's some gorgeous, and, and I guess all of them have been restored to some degree. Well, some of them have. Now, some of them leave them just like they are, They're in right. just an original condition. And you'd be surprised. There's about as many people like them like that as they do restore. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, what, what, what is your, you have equipment out here, I tell you. Yes, I got a, I got a Cub Farmall. Cub Farmall. Yeah. All right. And uh, that's mine. But uh, these people out got, some people got many as five or six and then one and we got them as far as from Federal, North Carolina. All right. Them two big Alice Chambers down there. Wow. Florida. Florida. Yeah, yeah, Florida, right over here behind us. They right. come from Florida. Just so, for this show. Just for this show. Now that is amazing. So so what is do you have a favorite out here? I don't want to get you sit you on the hot seat. Yeah, I got a favorite, What's your favorite cub here? form on. <laughs> <laughs> I had a feeling you're gonna say that, George. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but now, do, any idea how many participants we have out here today? Oh, uh, it's hard to tell right now. There's a whole bunch of them, I tell oh, you. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. There's a lot there's of them. A lot this, of people it'd out. be close to a hundred. And there's not only track, really. Yeah. Close to a hundred. Yeah. Not only tractors out here and farm equipment, but we also see some some. Uh, we got some uh, some antiques, trucks, cars. Trucks. Yeah. And you know, there's a lot of different things. Yeah. And some antiques. I saw some people over here with uh, kind of a yard sale item. Uh, yes, sir. So, uh, they got they got sales all over the yards. Yeah. Gar gardening and things, things like rakes gardening, and hoes and shovels and anything and old you want. Jars and bottles and anything you want. And it's good family entertainment. Come out to the children. They're gonna have pedal tractors. They're gonna have tractor rides behind the. Uh, Mute train over here, train rides. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And uh, it, it, there's a lot of things for the children. All right. What's the name of your restaurant in Kinston, by the way? Smith's Cafe. It's on 258 North. All right. Well, George Smith, I appreciate you talking with us, and I thank you very much. We're going to walk thank around you. and take some pictures. Thank you. All right. Thanks a lot. We're talking with Mr. Emery Williams of Jennings, Florida. Yeah. Now you came all the way from Florida to this event. Yeah, we did. All right. Now, do you, I, I take it you travel? and showing, show off your equipment, your tractor here. We do, we go to several uh, shows a year. Yeah, is, is this, this is your baby right here behind us. Well, this is one of them. We have a Ford, a couple of Fords and uh, John Deere's. Well, tell me about this John Deere. What is this? Well, this is a D John Deere. It's the second one that we've owned. Um, we had a 1928 for about 23 years. Right. And uh, then we decided we wanted to get rid of it and try this 37 for a while. This is a 37 model. 1937. 1937. Yeah. Did you do the restoration on this? I did. Me my, and my wife. Is that right? <laughs> well, you're pretty handy with a spray gun, I see. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what. Turns this, out pretty good. Hey, this is a beauty. How long did it take you to restore this track? Well, we have about a year in them as a rule by the time you take them all apart and hunt the pieces that are missing yeah. and uh, get it back. We try to keep them pretty much like they were when they were new, you oh, know. Yeah. We okay. don't modify them any. Don't modify them, just as, as they came off the, the showroom floor. We try to keep them like that, right. Yeah. All right. Now, uh, you have other tractors as well. You are, you're out of Jennings, Florida. Right. And, uh, and you have other tractors. I'm trying to get all this right in my mind now, okay? <laughs> yeah. Cause, and where's your, where have you been before today uh, showing your tractors? Well, we've been to Silk Hope. Uh, I think that's the way you pronounce it, Silk yeah. Hope. We were there a couple years ago, but we go to Ohio and uh, pretty much up and down the East Coast. Right. This looks like an award winner. Have you put it in, in contests? Uh, no, but uh, I, I guess I would if I had a chance. Sure, yeah. you could. Oh, yeah, yeah, this yeah. thing will win some ribbons and, and trophies <laughs> here. This yeah. is beautiful. Well, Mr. Emory Williams, welcome to Wayne County, North Carolina. I want to thank you for being with us and talking to us today. All right. It's thank my you, pleasure. Thank you. Be careful heading back to Florida now. Right? Okay, right. we will. Thank you. We're here with Mr. Wayne Acock, who is actually an Oliver collector. Is that right? That's correct. My, what in the world's an Oliver? Well, my dad was an Oliver dealer back in the 
late fifties and early sixties right. here in Goldsboro. All right. They they uh, the last one was produced in nineteen seventy three. Okay. Oh. The uh, and uh, and you have a, an example of an Oliver here today. I have five of them. You have five of them I here today. I have five of them here today. All right. Now, now I also noticed you drove up in a truck. What kind of truck is that? That is a, a 1928 International. Get out of here! 1928. Really? A 28 model. And who did the restoration on that? Well, uh, I got uh, Lily International up in Rocky Mount to to paint it for me, mm -hmm. and um, my son and one of his co-workers took the body off of it and redid it for me. Is that right? uh, but it was it was pretty solid truck when I got it. Yeah, it's, uh, it appears to be in very good condition yeah. now, especially the restoration. It looks beautiful. Yeah, well, I made my living in the trucking business. Right. And I've got my old trucking company name on the door. And, and, and back in the day in the 70s and 80s, uh, it's a whole lot different now. You just apply for permits and all back uh, now you just get one permit and you can go most anywhere you want to but back then you had to deal with each state oh, yeah. and on the side of that truck I got all the numbers that I my original numbers that I had from all of the states that I, that well, I traveled many, in. How many states did you cover Wayne? Well mostly east of the Mississippi. Oh okay. mostly east. east of the Mississippi yeah. that's a lot of territory. Yeah I went to California one time. Did you? That was enough. That was enough I yeah. don't blame you at all you came <laughs> back quickly. Came back quickly. <laughs> all yeah. right very good. I just want to hear this thing one time. Talking with us there, yes, sir. sir. Mr. Yes, Wayne sir. Wayne Acock there, former, uh, no, actually current Oliver collector, former Oliver dealer in the family. That's right. Okay. That's right. Thanks a lot. Okay. Thank you okay. so Thank much. Thank you, sir. Okay. <laughs> We're talking with Mr. Bob Denny from Newport, North Carolina. Yes, sir. And Bob, you you are a part of the Eastern Carolina Farm Vintage Farm Equipment yes, show sir. here, and and you behind us. We have a beautiful farm on. Who did the work on that? I did it. I did all this work myself. Did you really? Yes, sir. Well, this it's is, beautiful. This is, it was a good tractor when I got it, but it didn't look this nice. Oh, okay. It, it was not a junker. So it was uh, already in pretty good shape. It was in pretty good shape. The man had it before I had it. I had it for 25 years, and he kept it inside, and it, it was oh, it was man. intact. Oh, that's great. But just wasn't show ready. Okay, you have other tractors as well. But now, yes, sir. tell me about this one. I cannot help but notice this this tractor has two steering wheels on it two steering wheels uh, I joke say that one for left turns one for right turns uh, <laughs> okay. but really it's so one's it, G and one's Hall <laughs> yes yeah really it's for grandchildren okay. this, this is a parade mrs. Denny usually drives this uh, in parades with grandchildren right. there and, and they think it's just terrific to have a steering wheel that they can stand there sit there and turn oh yeah uh, and pretend that they're driving too it doesn't have any any uh, no it's, it's just it, it just free wheels just for the kids just for the kids that's a great idea yeah, by the yeah, way it's, that's fantastic. the tractor of course did not have two seats on it no what it was new you know it is <laughs> just had one but there's room on the left side the a modification that the, the we did right uh, to make it a, a grandchild friendly uh, tractor well the farm all did the seat was off-centered Yes, sir. The, 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 seat, the seat is the, the operator seat is on the right, right, and you look right down the the right hand side of the tractor. Uh, but then this model, the B, has a long axle on the other side to make it a two row tractor. It, it's the same tractor as a Farmo A. Right. Uh, the A is a one row tractor. This is a two, two row, row tractor. Okay. So with this long axle on the left side, there there was room. I could just put another seat there. There's plenty of room to do that. So this. When I saw the tractor sitting on the side of the road with a for sale sign on it, we turned around the middle of the road and went back, <laughs> and, and I bought it for this purpose, yeah, I I, to, to make it a grandchild tractor. Well, it's a beauty, and I understand you have more as well, so we'll be talking to you about that tractor as okay. well. Yes, sir. Thank you, Bob Denny from Newport. All right, Mr. Denny, my goodness, I would have to guess that you had something to do with East Carolina University. Yes, sir, I am retired from East <laughs> Carolina. You? In fact, I still teach for them online on a, on a part-time basis, right. but I retired some years ago, and I was restoring a, a, a John Deere tractor uh, one summer, and thought just came the world doesn't need another green tractor there's a lot of green tractors <laughs> around a lot of green. Uh, but there's not many purple and gold tractors around I don't so know of any I had purchased this tractor sometime before that 
for that purpose. I was going to do that. And I, that summer I said, oh, that's what I'm going to do this summer. I want to do this purple and gold one. So this is the third summer now I've had it out. And in the eastern part of the state, it's very popular. I can that, imagine. That you get west of, of Raleigh, and they, they either don't know what it is or are antagonistic about it. <laughs> uh, but here in the east, uh, it, it's a very popular tractor. Now, this is an Alice Chalmers. It's an Alice Chalmers CA, uh, a 1956. Uh, it was a, a, a slightly abused tractor uh, when I got it, but it was uh, mainly all there. It didn't have to do much replacement mm -hmm. to it. And it has been a lot of fun oh, uh, to sure. do that. Uh, I did all the painting. Uh, my daughter did the, the stencils for the, the ECU and the Pirates. She has a, a device to, to cut the stencils. So she cut the stencils and I uh, did the, the painting on it. And uh, we, we take it out to parades and shows. Uh, Raleigh, I, I take it to the Ag Fest up in right. Raleigh. That's as far as I go with it, but it's it's a lot of fun. I can see that it draws a lot of attention. <laughs> yes, it does. There are a lot of pictures taken with this tractor. Oh, I'm sure. You know, a lot of a lot of mothers will bring their children over and put them up on it or stand <laughs> them next to it and say, "I was a pirate, you know, or I am a pirate. I, I am still a pirate. am a pirate, yeah. you know." And they had had two old boys in in farm all red gear that stood in front of it because they said, my mother is an ECU graduate <laughs> and, and they wanted their picture taken with the tractor. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> so. All right. Well, Mr. Denny, it is an unusual tractor and it's a beauty and I appreciate your talk. Thank with you. Us. Mr. Bob Denny of Newport here at the show today. Thank you, sir. Thank you. We're here now with Mr. Ray Porter. Mr. Porter. We have this beautiful automobile behind us here. What is this? It's a Model A 29. A 20, 1929 Model A Ford. Right. What absolutely. a beauty it is. Now, how long have you had this vehicle? I just bought it in January. Did uh, So did you do the restoration on this? Oh, no, no, no. It was restored out in um, Utah, and it from there went to a museum in California. And a guy from uh, North Myrtle Beach, Ed Silvers, was out there in uh, Los Angeles, or actually it was in mm -hmm. Vegas. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, he saw it for sale and he flew out to San Diego and bought it and had it shipped back to Myrtle, North Myrtle Beach. My goodness. And then uh, Carl Grantham from Rosewood uh, found it. He had it for sale and he bought it. Mm -hmm. And he uh, bought it last July and he, Carl unfortunately died in October. Right. So I bought it from his estate. Well, it is a beauty. Uh, and and this, is, this is like new. Is it not? Well, it's it's been restored like new. Yes, yeah, it is it's like It's all new. original it's like... Uh, like a, they were in, in 29. All original parts. Like Henry built it, yeah. Right, right just like he did. <laughs> yeah, right. Like Henry himself yeah, did That's it, yeah. right, yeah. Well, he certainly left his mark on it, that's for sure. Well, so uh, you can drive this car just about anywhere, can't you? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's roadworthy. Uh, they drive them. They drive these thousands of miles to meets and so forth. And uh, This vehicle is 86 years old. Is that about right? I haven't calculated, but oh, it's probably right. right. Yeah, 86 yeah. years old. Yeah, yeah, and, older than I am. And you, <laughs> by just a little bit, though. By just well, okay, whatever you say. But it could, <laughs> right. it could, uh, could you could drive it about anywhere. Oh yeah, right. Uh, you enter it in parades, I suppose. I uh, put it in the um, Center Street Center Street uh, show last Saturday. Yeah, right, yeah, right. sure did. Yeah. Did you do well in that show? I got the first place antique trophy. So. Not surprising. Not surprising. <laughs> well, it's a beauty. Mr. Porter, I appreciate you talking Thank with you. us. Thank you. Thank you, And you're Wayne. from Goldsboro, I believe, right? Uh, Rosewood, yes. The Rosewood. Uh, sure do. Rosewood community. Rosewood, right. Ray Porter. Grew up in Grantham, moved to Rosewood. Well, then you met my wife and married her. You're a diehard, Wayne yeah, County. Well, there yeah, you go, absolutely. buddy. Absolutely. I appreciate it. Thank you so much Thank for you, talking Wayne. with us. Right. All right. We are back on Wayne Goldsboro Television on this Wednesday, the 11th of the month of May. And let's see what else we have here. I thought that was a good, good story, what you were saying about the uh, Habitat for Humanity, the women build a little while yeah. ago. Yeah, that and they do, great. they're always looking for volunteers, but they do, like they had done a CEO build, and they did a woman's build. They'll do these more category type pulling in volunteers, and the whole point is to engage more people. Mm -hmm. There's a pool, a draw, mm -hmm. so um, it was great, it was great. And like you said, um, you don't have to know how to hold a hammer or, or use a saw or anything like that. Anybody can do this. 
Anybody can. And yeah. for people who know how to use a hammer and use a saw, then they put those people on hammers and saws. That's right. And what did you do? A uh, hammer. Did you really? Mm -hmm. He was teaching us beforehand. He was like, go like this, yeah. go like this, <laughs> go like this. And he was like, that's how you're going to do it. And he was like, or your wrist is going to hurt. And I was like, oh, my wrist isn't going to hurt. So we have our little Lowe's aprons and right. stuffed a bunch of nails in there. And when we were working on the floor joists, I mean, after a while, I was like, my wrist is going to hurt. <laughs> and the guy said, are you doing it like that? And I was like, no, because you get in these awkward positions. It's not like you're standing up, you know, like this. But, um, but yes, I was a hammer and nail girl. So you were installing, helping to install yes. the joists. Yeah. And then on the top of the joist, you start putting the, the subfloor. Yeah, but see, I missed that part. They oh, were, okay. And while we were doing that, there was a, a, a few women working um, with others doing the um, stuff with the stuff, insulation. <laughs> And the people and I knew the things. That. I knew it, yeah. Stuff. <laughs> a lot of stuff going on around here, yeah. But it was, it, it, it was fun. fun. It was a lot of fun. All right. And I, I, I don't recall exactly how many, but they had built dozens and dozens of new homes. Seventy. In, yeah, seventy something. Six. I may be wrong. Okay. Uh, Matt did a little uh, uh, quiz with everybody before, kind of like an icebreaker, and he asked when Habitat for Humanity started in Wayne County. I think I said something super intelligent, like 1967. <laughs> <laughs> he was like 2000. <laughs> but one of the things they did ask was how many homes have been built since that time, and that's quite remarkable. It is remarkable, and it's, it's an amazing organization doing a great job. And, uh, and again, we cannot stress enough, this is not a giveaway program. Right. It is not. That's right. Quali people who, who, who buy these homes have to qualify them just like anyone else. That's right. And the Habitat for Humanity Restore downtown oh, um, has some great finds. I was just when we were at the Paramount last week for, that, uh, for the movie screening with Wayne County Public Schools, I saw some flyers for 10% off. Habitat for Humanity Restore. So, you know, there's a little plug for a parent. Go by the Paramount and get you some of those coupons <laughs> and um, head down to the Restore and, and do some shopping. Because yeah, all that keeps this going, going around. I love the Restore. You can find almost anything mm -hmm. in there. Anything. Okay. Uh, speaking of murders, <laughs> another interesting segue. Yes, very good. Um, during, uh, let's see, coming up on May 19th, the program Notorious Wayne County Murders will be discussed. Two well-known Wayne County residents presenting tales and trials of murders that have occurred in Wayne County. The first one on the 19th, presented by Mr. Sherwood Williford. Aha! The second on June, June 13th by Mr. David Wheel. Both these programs begin at 7 p.m. Again, May 19th and June 13th. Sherwood Williford and David Wheel presenting a program, Notorious Wayne County Murders. Ooh. 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 Not just murders, notorious Woo. murders. Yeah, that's what Woo. I said, that's what I said. Let's take a look at the uh, trivia question to see if we have an answer for the trivia question. The, uh, the question is, what winged Roman god is commonly associated with Valentine's Day? And the answer is? Cupid. 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 That's right. There used to be a song out back in the 60s, Cupid Stupid. Oh, Stupid I Cupid, that's Stupid what it is. Stupid Cupid, yeah, yeah, that's what it was, yeah. Anyway, that's another one of those songs. Uh, again, before we break here, before we go, and we're getting the high sign here, and we don't have time for that. And we don't have time for that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we gotta go. But, but, we'll do it again tomorrow. We'll do it again tomorrow. Thank you, that's right, we'll do it again tomorrow. We'll be right here. Hope you're right there. Until then, I'm Wayne Alley. And I'm Kate Daniels. And this is Wayne Goldsboro Television.